welcome to another episode of Fish with Alan. Um, today's episode is going to be a bit different. Um, so today, basically, I'm going to show you the trick, tips and tricks, how I catch a lot of species, how I catch my bait fish. So I know that there's a lot of different sabika rigs there's on the market, more there on the market, but um, there's one particular that I like a lot, and it's called micro sabikis. So it's one of these. Um, they're very effective. They're not expensive at all. You're talking about two euro for a pack of these, which is not too bad. Um, I do buy them, but what I also tend to do is to uh, make them myself because it's not always easy to find them. And the second thing is um, the colors that you get are mostly yellow and uh, and a white. And I found that the red color, at least here in Ireland, works best. So I do make my own um, red color, red color micro Um Why they're called micro? Because the size of the hook is, I don't know, can you see it there? But probably size 16 or 18. They're really tiny. Now, to make them, you need just a few bits and pieces. You need a couple of civils and I use um, fluorocarbon there. Now regarding the size of hooks uh, I has I tried size 20 it works but the problem is if it's a bigger fish it's hard to hook it because it's very tiny hooks so I prefer to go with something slightly bigger but not too big so I usually go with size 16 hooks um, or size 14 works perfect as well. Um, could be any any hooks like that's just for a basic freshwater hook um, like these are very good because uh, especially if you're into the species competition you can catch a lot of species with these uh, you can catch fish anywhere uh, when like because often when the big fish like especially in the low tide if you're fishing in the sea uh, all the bigger fish is out to the sea in the deeper water and all the tiny fish is usually underneath your feet of the piers or, or under the rocks. If you just drop these in, you'll get the fish all day long. You can catch everything on that from prolog, sand eels, um, everything really. And the good thing is, even though it's a tiny hook, you can always tip it a bit to give it a bit of a sense. So you can put a tiny strip of mackerel on it or a squid or a prone or whatever. And something that makes that even better and, and 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 to catch even more species then but even with the rig as is with nothing on it's perfect it works perfect it's really really good so uh stay tuned and i'll show you how i make my own ones uh the the trick is you don't need nothing it's bad expensive you don't need nothing special i as you can see here in this bag i use that's old braid this is here an old rope so you can just pull the tiny little couple of little strings of the old rope or old braid or old christmas decoration or something and just tie it around the hook just instead of gluing it i usually put just a little bit of a nail polish with with a tiny tiny golden shiny um, sparkles which is another kind of attractor and and that's basically it so you tie the rig and it works perfect i made a lot of these and they caught me a lot of fish and a lot of different species so um we're gonna start off with size 14 hooks um what i usually use to tie it is just a piece of braid um i don't even have a proper nylon or or whatever people use there out to tie something and and actually it works perfect so basically what I have here is around one and a half meter maybe of braid. And what I do usually is just take one string out of that braid out. So you just take one string out. You see it's super teeny tiny. And that's what I'm using to tie my 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 feather so I pull that one string out 
it's very simple it's purely diy and it works really perfect they're good they're sturdy they last very long and i really like it uh, now i was i found some on the beach i found some old feathers and look i have i was fortunate i found the red feather um which i really like so we're going to use that red feather if i don't have that red feather i would just use a piece of red rope uh, i can show you there um so as you can see i have just a regular piece of red rope that i usually use but it works the same like it's it's the same thing okay so so let's put the hook in the vise take a little like a piece of string that i just pulled out there and a piece of a feather that i found on a big on the beach on some old sabiki rig uh, good now let's get this one true so with this we put a feather on the top you do a couple of turns here I'm gonna have to twist it a bit to get it out there let me just put it like this for a second because we want to put a piece of this as well so we're gonna cut just a little bit piece of that golden crisp decoration that I have um, just I'm stripping the excess there so we're gonna just fold that in half so I'm gonna literally have just two little tentacles there uh, that I'm gonna put over and tie into that little hook and a couple more turns not much nothing much nothing special uh there you're gonna cut the excess here while it's dry before you put the the the, the nail polish because it's difficult to cut it when it's and now we're gonna just make few knots there um, make sure that you really hold the attention all the time on it so it doesn't fall apart even though I'm not a professional I tied a lot of these purely the way I'm doing it now and and it hold it was holding well I never like I never my, my, my feathers never fell apart the only thing like even when I snagged and stuff, it was perfect. So you cut the excess there. We have like excess here. Maybe twist it a bit to make it nicer. There, I'm gonna maybe make another knot there. Um, like this. And the very last move is to put the nail polish. Um, no, actually, before we put the nail polish, I put uh, fluorocarbon. So I take usually not much anyway because it's a sabiki rig. So you take a little there. Um, you take a little there and uh, I tie it because once when you put nail polish usually it blocks the, the little eye on the hook and then it's so hard to tie it so it's better to do it now before you put nail, nail polish on so let's get it through oh maybe the other way around is gonna be easier there yeah and then let's tie a simple knot whichever really way whichever like doesn't matter really what kind of a knot you're using whichever knot you tie it's fine 
um, I know you can make it perfect, make it, I don't know, I just do it usually the, 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 in the simplest way I, got, I, could, I, could, I possibly can because as you can see it takes a couple of minutes to, to tie one of these uh, there we have a knot you cut off the excess there it's really nice and you put a bit of a nail polish with those little with this glitter or whatever it is in there there's like little sparkles in there uh, not too much that's basically it um, so what you do what I usually do now I take off that one put it aside to dry it but this is it um, and I just tie another one take another bit of um, your fluorocarbon um, maybe a meter meter and a bit um, tie the swivel I usually use a very tiny swivel um, these onto your fluorocarbon I'm gonna try to zoom in I hope you're gonna see it um, I wasn't doing it basically what you do you want to have it on a three different levels you're gonna I'm gonna start now with the top one so you make just a regular knot just a regular loop and you go through one two three times and now you tie the hook until you get that little loop that looks like a number eight, as you can see. And you take your second hook. And again, you do the same thing. So what you do, you go through the loop, top loop up back through the another loop you pull your hook all the way up now you tighten that loop there the, the, the loop on the main on the main line I usually pull this one I usually pull the hook all the way up as closer as possible we make a knot there, just a regular, any knot will do. So, we make a knot there, so we go through the loop. One, two, three. You tie that, pull the hook down tighten it and that's the second hook on 
cut the excess and there we have two hooks now it's not perfect but it works perfect and then let's go and put a third one on again the same process um, one two three with a little bit of a feathers those hooks are size 16 like I said you can use size there's a clip there's a swivel like I said you can use size 18 you can use size 20 you can use but I wouldn't go anything bigger than size maybe 10 even though 10 would be already too big for those little species so I usually stick with the smallest of four uh, with the biggest of 14 and smallest of 20 size hook uh, and it's perfect look it's it, it, it i hope it'll catch you a lot of fish i hope you find this video um inter interesting for more please subscribe and i'll talk to you soon